Okay, I found the uh, Sombrero Galaxy uh, from the Delta Corvus, which is Al Gorob. Al Gorob means uh, crow. You go toward the uh, uh, asterism, uh, shaped like a head of an arrow, and the tip of it is a multiple star. One of them has an HD number. And then a little bit toward the north of that, toward the east, northeast, is the is the Sombrero Galaxy. Uh, there is a triangular kind of uh, asterism at the center of the triangle. There are two stars. It look like a spaceship kind of. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, oh, it looks like a Milky Way as if you're looking at our galaxy. Milky Way from the side. Uh, photographs don't show the uh, why it is so similar to Mexican hat sombrero. When you look with the visual, you can actually see that why it is like that because it's like an upside down hat. And there is a dark line above uh, uh, above the galaxy, opposite to the side of the uh, where the head of a hat is. Uh, that's, very, that's very interesting. I'm, I've not changed to the 30 millimeter ethos. Um, it makes it clear. It's dark lane, also, you can see it. And we go now to 8 millimeter ethos just to see what the difference will be. Okay, I'm not using the ethos 8mm, I have to use the extension tube, of course, to bring it to focus. This most one, Sombrero Galaxy is one of the most beautiful galaxies I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, the more beautiful than that is just M51 and uh, the companion of it. I'm using the Skywatcher uh, Skyline at 300p, f 1500mm uh, at Opsonian Telescope. Really beautiful, beautiful. Can I say how beautiful it is? You have to see it. And when you use the high magnification, actually, you can you you, you can get a, a kind of yeah darker sky background, more details you can see. Uh, it is nice to know that the Hubble Space Telescope, or Hu Hubble Orbital Telescope, actually we should call it, has taken some beautiful pictures uh, of the Sombrero Galaxy. It's, it is it is really a very tidy galaxy. Central pulse is huge, actually, compared to what we can see visually. And the dark lane is actually full of dust and dust particles and clouds of dust and gas, which are practically blocking the view. You can see in the, actually the infrared and uh, uh, those wavelengths, red light, you can see actually the uh, composition of it, which is red, you can see it, it's made of dust. Uh, there is plenty of dust in the plane of this galaxy. Uh, what that means is that the stars have produced a lot of, you know, silicate and uh, other kind of heavier elements like metals and these are actually in the field of